seems right up your alley. Keep a lookout. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? I was with Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. There. Ciphers. No. Let's keep an eye out. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn duke. Oh. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. No privies down here. I treat them like animals. Come on up! After them! No mercy. Elizabeth, a little help? Let me have a look. Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not true? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. All yours. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? Not hyenas! Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Where the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. 
The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. These men. Killed them. Disgusting. They're dead. Disgusting. Not in this world. Noses. They're. They're all bleeding. What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? What is going on here, Samson? As my head of security, I suspect you want to find out how these two slip past your men and what they are doing in the He was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. Found some money. Want it?
complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lives. anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Booker, look. The shrine. Let's go find that gunsmith. It's gun a figure smith. of Comstock He's upstairs now. now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin. Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How will you reconcile that? Calm his troubled thoughts. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. She... Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Miss Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea.
to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Appreciate it. You must think me some sort of freak. A 
girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. It must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to beg. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. These people are like this because of Fink? Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Or see what's in that bar. What do you think? Back it up, Skell. Thief and kill! <laughs> deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. 
the fire's got heat of plenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia. I found a lockpick. 